Ghostbusters is 20th anniversary or whatever is going on right now. During October, and it's the 24th anniversary. You know, it was a really horror movie. movie. It was a horror comedy. Sort Okay, they fucked up. But anyways, uh, Ghostbusters is in theaters four times this month. On Thursday at 7 p.m. only each week. At this one particular theater that we happen to be going to check it out at. Dan Aykroyd? You've picked the wrong places in Orlando to show this film that I'm telling you. Well, actually, Shane, I hate to burst your bubble, but I had to pick that theater because it was the only place I got online order tickets from. And I wanted to make sure to get them because either I'm going to be horribly wrong and this is not going to sell any tickets and we'll be the only ones there, which is cool, or there'll be a shitload of people there and it'll sell out, which is cool. Well, either way, I think this is going to be a nice little place for Dan Aykroyd and the rest of the producers of the Ghostbusters, whoever owns the rights for this point, to go ahead and uh, see if they want to make a third movie, which has uh, been in the talks for ten years, they made a game. Maybe they can make it based off of Sanctum of Slime. No, that'd be a terrible choice. That was a horrible game. I don't know why you'd bring it up at all, ever. Well, that's because that's part of our other spooktacular video. Well, it's going to be a we play and you watch it. Uh, the Ghostbusters are the video game that uh, came out for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and later no, the Wii. No, no, not the good one. No. And no, the, the Wii, don't, don't mention the Wii. No, Sanctum of Slime for the Xbox 360 Arcade and probably the PlayStation Network, too. I never checked on, never will. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Uh, so there's that. We've also got the We Play and You Watch up already of our first interaction with Ghostbusters the Arcade Game. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters the Arcade Game based off of the cartoon, which was uh, probably one of the most... I don't know, as a kid that was probably one of the reasons I got up the most uh, on Saturday morning was to watch that particular cartoon series. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, Ghost, I, I Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters... I had all the has, toys. I had the Ecto-1, I had Firehouse, the crazy, the... like... like the one toy that had like it was a ghost with the eyeball popped out when you squeezed it. The Marshmallow Man that was only like twice the size of a Ghostbuster. Yeah, it was kind of like, oh, this is the Marshmallow Man when he's on vacation or interacting with normal people. I don't know, he looks, it would have been like a Yeti figure. Yeti, right. No. Yeti. Like, no, no librarian. Um, I think but they had a librarian toy. They had a lot of toys that were really... Mostly... They had a lot that, it, it was kind of like Ninja Turtles where they had stuff that was based on the show and the comic. But then they had stuff that was totally out there, and then it would eventually become part of it. Like, I actually remember, I don't know if you remember. Oh, the old Kenner figures? I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Well, they had a million of those. They even had the Janine Ghostbuster one. But it's like, check it out. They got this thing, it's a helicopter, that has a handle where you pull the trigger and it spins the blades. Well, in the cartoon, the helicopter had the handle on it with the trigger to spin. It. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody out there, like, pulling the trigger? No, they wanted like, to. Like, no, no. Had, well, like, Peter was actually pulling the. No, it was like a full-size helicopter they got into, but it, it still had the trigger in the cartoon. Like, they wanted it to be as accurate as possible based off the toy, so they just drew it all in there. I that's don't pretty, really know why they did that. It's pretty silly. Uh, no, but I'm actually pretty excited overall about this film, because I, I never actually... I've never seen the first Ghostbusters film in theaters ever. I mean, I don't know if they've ever done any re-releases or any special showings like at uh, 
Okay, the Dollar Dollar theaters, theaters we have around here, but uh, this is the first time I'm going to go see it in theaters. And one of the first movies they can see. Five point one surround sound as well. Oh, so they're using like they're the, the, the sound. DTS uh, digital yep. sound from like the deep Blu-ray DVD. That's going to be pretty release. cool. Well, I mean, I don't know if they really need that necessarily, but I I only want one thing to happen with the sound, and that's when Peter Venkman is about to get slimed, and he's standing there with the things going. Aah! You just want Peter's I want to hear hear his voice in surround well, sound. Well, I want to hear Slimer coming up from behind the camera. If I want to see if they did that, how I think they they did that. I don't if know they did that. it that that's, way, that's that would pretty, be really cool. Like the whole, I think when Dana's being raped by uh, by Zool, I think that'll be a more interesting. You have the growling everywhere, and you have Dana screaming. I think it'll be much because you have the arms ripping out of the upholstery on her chair yeah. and grabbing. I think it'll be much more. I think, they, I think in the DVD, what they're going to do is just basically show the Blu-ray version, or like just the a DVD. digital. digital yeah, right like, there with the. I think that's what they're going to do. I have the Ghostbusters movies on DVD, and I believe that they did move all the songs out. But I want to. It, it's just the Slimer scene is important to me. Why is the Slimer scene important? Because it's like the first Bukaki scene I've ever seen. That's pretty terrible. I don't even yeah. know if that's really. It's hentai Bukaki. I don't. It's that... tentacle rape with the arm. Ectoplasm is not semen. How do you friggin' know? I don't, but Have I'm pretty. Have you ever pretty... tasted it? No. Have you ever had Ecto Cooler? Yes. You've drank semen. That's terrible. They need to bring that back, by the way. Again, Dan Aykroyd. Looking at you for He's too busy making you vodka. Shut up. Vodka? He has his own vodka. vodka. Yeah, that it's like triple or quadruple distilled in diamonds. I actually had some. In diamonds? Starla from... How do you have diamonds? Well, that's the whole thing. How do you vodka and diamonds? You, 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 run, you filter it through. You run it through. Well, I guess it'd be filtering, but it, it's it's a qu triple or quad distilled. Like diamond diamonds. stones? Like you buy like it like it. Supposedly. Uh, or Dad Everett's got quite an amusing video about it, and it, if you watch it, it never really... You can never really tell if he's trying to be serious or if he... If he really thinks it's the coolest thing ever, or if he's like, this is stupid, I can't believe he's going to buy this. That guy's been in some, some rather questionable things. Like... He has, but I mean, I'm going to tell you, when I heard about the new Ghostbusters movie coming out, I was really concerned, but then they came out with the Ghostbusters game, and I got really, really concerned, and then I got that, and it was amazing, the first one. Well, yeah, but, but then they came out with Sanctum of Slime, and I got extra concerned, because it was like, this is horrible. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, is that it's like, they're, the reason why the video game works so well is because they didn't actually have to really portray the roles of they the wrote characters. It. They wrote it. No, they, that's the thing. In the, in the game for the Xbox and whatnot, they wrote a movie with an extra character and placed you in that spot, is how it feels. It really feels like another Ghostbusters movie. Well, thing. yeah. However, Peter Venkman felt really shallow and pedantic. Was not he, just was, was he, was he segregated? Was he quarantined to rest from the... I don't know, because past. everyone else got along really good, but then it's like Peter Venkman came in and all his lines... He's like, it's like he phoned in. his... Yeah, phoned yeah, his lines and then, and That was a but, bummer, because he was my favorite character. I usually feel like I relate mostly <laughs> to him, because he just makes up everything as he goes maybe, maybe it's Maybe it's after the whole thing of just doing all these other movies. They've kind of put him on this pedestal now of being kind of an actor's actor versus just a comedian Well, if you look at a lot of the people that were in the actor. Ghostbusters movie, they also got kind of typecast into that because, like, Bill Murray's character in uh, Zombieland. Oh, well, that was hilarious. Also had, that, was oh, that was funny. was hilarious. But then you also had Dan Aykroyd in that one movie where he's trying to get rid of the ghosts. What was it, Casper? He was in Casper. Oh, but that was him actually reprising the role as Ray Stance. Exactly. In but, it was, but it was very... It but I don't, see, I don't see him puff. playing Ray very, Stance in like. He was afraid of uh, these oh, what was it? Stupid Christmas with the Cranks? Ghost. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't Ray Stance in Christmas with the Cranks. He was somebody else completely different. He was Tim and the Tool Man Taylor. And, and, and even in Evolution, the the one movie what I, was, I thought was he got from Tim Allen. Uh, the the one movie I thought that was kind of a spiritual successor to Ghostbusters, which was uh, Evolution with uh, uh, David Duchovny and uh, Orlando. Uh, I could see that. Was it I thought, Orlando, Orlando Bloom? Bloom? No, that's the guy from Orlando Bloom. I don't. No, that's the guy from Orlando Magic. No, that's Orlando, the, Florida. That's the basketball team. No. Uh, anyway, the, the the other the black guy from the film. Who oh, was, the, yeah, glitch. Not glitch. He's not even here yet. No, we're waiting for him. But uh, he's going to. That should be fun. Yeah, we're all gonna go ahead out and see this movie. Black theater. people are allowed to see movies in theaters now, and sit with the white folks, so that's kind of cool. I'm glad we got that segregation thing a lot of the way yeah. from uh, the you know the 50s. I'm glad we 60s. traveled to a time where it was allowed because last time we tried to do that, he got arrested. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if the doctor wants his TARDIS back. The TARDIS? Yeah, we kind of converted. 
Anyway. No, that, that's for another day. No, but... So anyways, yeah. I'm really excited about this. Ghostbusters 2 was like one of the first memories I have of seeing a film in theaters. And I remember watching it. I had seen, like, Ghostbusters 1, like, on VHS. Like, I remember watching it, like, on HBO or something, or VHS when I rented it one day. And I remember being very Were scared. Were you born when Ghostbusters came out? No, I was born... <laughs> like, it, Ghostbusters was 84. I was born in 82. I saw Ghostbusters. So you were born when Ghostbusters came what? out. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. You two said you were born in 82. Ghostbusters was 84. Right, so you were two years old. Yeah. Okay. So this is two you years after born, I was when born. When Ghostbusters came out, you were already born. Yeah. You were alive. You were that horrible. I was four years old when I saw Ghostbusters, and I remember being terrified. Like, the whole <laughs> scene in the library just scared the piss out of me. I was terrified I had to cover my eyes up and be like, oh no, the librarian's going to change. And I was seven when that movie came out. That What? You were yeah. an old faggot. At any rate, yeah, but that's uh, when I sucked my first dick. But I remember the State Puff Marshmallow Man. I was being a Godzilla. Tasted so like slime. I remember. Ugh. Yeah. I remember the State Puff Marshmallow Man. I was being a Godzilla. And I'm like, wow, they put a giant monster. Okay. In this you, movie. Um, just real quick. This always bothered me. The State Puff Marshmallow Man couldn't have been a woman. Could could they have said the State Puff Marshmallow Woman? No, probably not. Because as Peter's line goes, this is easy. He's a sailor. He's in New York. We get this guy laid. For golden, but it didn't work out that way. No, because they couldn't fight it. They had to hit him with a golden rain tall. stream of piss and set him on fire. And no, that didn't stop him. That, that that just pissed him off. So they had to electrocute the the dog chick. So do you think that Walter Peck actually would have died if he had been doused in lava, in burning lava marshmallow? How many people do you think really were injured by that? Like third degree. It could it, could it couldn't have happened that way because it's like in the game. Do you remember he comes back? Yeah, he's alive. He's there. And he's a douche. Well, he's usual. a douche in the movie. Right. But he's in charge of, like, the Ghostbusters Insurance oh, the, Protection Agency well, or something. Well, the something. Environmental Protection Agency fired him for some reason. Yeah, for being a douche. And then the mayor hired him for being... No, 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 that was the thing. The mayor actually... Spoiler alert. In the Ghostbusters game, the mayor was actually like taken over by the spirit of the guy. Wait a minute, look, I have another question for you. So how many times can a mayor be elected into office? Indefinitely in that Because series. apparently in 84 was the one mayor. In 89, when Ghostbusters 2 was a, when it came out, same mayor. And then in 92, it was still the same mayor. So we have to ask New York, do you really want a mayor? Well, how long has Bloomberg been in charge? Uh, Who was the guy that cleaned up in New York? He did a good job. No, that was Giuliani. Giuliani was mayor like forever. No, he wasn't. He was mayor for like, I think maybe eight years. That feels like forever. Well, we don't even live in New York. We know what forever feels like, I guess. Well, when you travel time, um, you get a pretty good idea. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be a great experience for everybody to kind of go out and kind of get that crowd participation that you... Don't usually get just from sitting at home and just kind of cheesing a film through. I really hope it's sold out and that we have tickets and that we get there before everyone so we can sit right in the middle. And just kind of get that experience. No, because I want to put my feet up. I like doing that. So you're but talking anyways, about like getting your feet up in somebody's head? No, no, I'm talking about where that bar is where the handicapped guys where we always make So you're going to put your hand, so you're going to put your feet all over a handicapped set? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Sure. But anyways, we'll see what happens. So, but that's going to be the best spot because the surround sound is going to be blasting, people are going to be screaming. I, I just want it to be sold out and it'll be awesome. We're going to get some footage from there and uh, maybe inside the theater. Probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I want to, I just have to avoid the screen so that I don't get copyright infringed again. You know, we have to say something, Internet. No, no, that's another video. With, I'm disappointed with you, Internet. I am severely disappointed with you. We try to give you something exclusive, and you say, fuck you. Yeah, you got a TOS, Term of Exclusivity Service. Damn it. We had I wasn't even a member of sharing. the Star Wars beta. That's a whole other <laughs> video. All right, so anyways, that's our uh, update for today on Chozo. I'm Seamus. And uh, this is the Zero Level, Let's where see. our opinion is a baseline for yours. That's good. Our opinion of you is really low right now, Internet. Yeah. You got to bring it up a notch. Yeah. We try to show you exclusive stuff, and you get us copyright violated. YouTube sucks too, but they didn't erase our account. They didn't erase our account. They just I've made like six accounts just in case. <laughs> no. We're ready for you. We'll see you later.